Hello, horsey people. We're back with Wild Horse Islands. Today, I wanted to show you how I find or acquire rare horses. So, I've been kind of lucky. I think I've just been lucky. Because, <laughs> yeah, you guys are probably going to tell me all the ways of how to actually uh, get rare horses. But this is how I get rare horses, okay? But welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome back, you crazy horse people. And, yeah, today we're going to hopefully find... And acquire some rare horses now first thing number one catching them now we all know the theory so firstly it massively helps and i have found a massive difference in the fact that i have a private server yes it's a cheating because you know it costs real money ah uh, maybe uh but yeah getting a private server is a good idea because you get all the rare stuff. No one else has nicked it. So, you know, it's good. Uh, how much money do I have? I think I'm going to buy... For the sake of today, we're obviously going to need to buy quite a few of those. Oh, gosh. That was a lot of money. Um, okay. How many lassos can I make with that? Let's have a look a second. So, we're going to go around. We're going to catch a load of horses and stuff. Oh, what? So, I can make tan? Okay. Well, I'll keep us going for a minute. So, yeah so okay private server good got that excellent that's a good way of getting rare horses firstly go around all the islands and search for them so we're going to have a little bit of that today we're going to be searching for rare horses and i'm going to show you guys how i actually managed to find them or they managed to spawn a lot of it is luck okay it's what the game gifts you a lot of the time okay but we're gonna go around and then we're gonna give the islands time to respawn horses so if you guys missed the sort of like it's kind of a series it wasn't really a series it was basically a part one and a part two of like what happens if we leave the island for 20 minutes and wait for everything to be respawned sort of video yeah so the theory is catch everything even if it's a little bit of pants and then wait i know waiting is not our like strong point in life but we're gonna wait and then 20 minutes i think 20 minutes is good that's quite a long time really so we might do this today with because i'm uh, on desert island first we'll give it a go and then we'll go search around some of the other islands i'll try and wait about 20 minutes and we'll come back and see if anything rare has spawned on this island. We'll probably try with all the islands as well. But yeah, so number one, getting a private server is a definite bonus. Number two, clearing all the islands and waiting for the next spawning. I don't know if that's the correct terminology or not. There's like no horses um, on this island today. <laughs> this is uh, This is surprising. So you never know. You never know what you're going to get. This is what I love about the game. And it keeps me playing it. You know, I think I'd be bored out my head by now. But I just haven't been. And also, it's very strange to think, as a 29-year-old woman, <laughs> I love this game. But, yeah. So, uh, Thursday, though, guys. I think maybe Sims 4 might be taking the top spot. But who knows? Sims 4's coming out. I also have some Minecraft stuff. I just need to take a video of the my stables in real life because i'm making my stables in real life on minecraft and i just need to show you guys the actual yard uh so i haven't done that yet but here we go okay so we're just gonna catch all this stuff i mean it's not great it's all like appaloosas and quarter horses and stuff like that so let's go up around the canyon oh i'm just gonna grab that it's nice and shiny we'll just grab some shiny things and sometimes as well you know it, it is just pot luck you don't you don't know what you're gonna get you know like, I came around here the other day, and just chilling on the side of the canyon was a Clydesdale. I was just chilling out, you know? And then also, I think, I don't know if you guys agree, I feel like there are lucky spots on the islands. There's more likely... So, certain spots of the islands have a higher chance of spawning something different or rare, in my opinion. But I don't know how, how true that is, or whether I've just found that as a bit of a correlation don't know strange so yeah we're gonna go catch everything we see 
Oh, the light touches. There's somebody around here. A little grey. He doesn't love one of those. He's going to go up here and grab that. Oh, well done, Smeggy. He's going to grab the gold, because why not? Yeah. We'll reset. We'll go back to the boat. And actually, there is another place. There's sometimes a wild horse over the over the brow of this hill here. I might as well grab that other gold, as I was so happy to like spend all the money on the gold to start with, you know? Well, I'm glitching. Sometimes there's a horse. Yep, there's a horse down there, and there's actually a pot of gold. So the pot of golds tend to be a bit pants, don't they? What's the most anybody's found in a pot of gold? Because um, if it's over like a thousand coins, I don't think I've ever had anything over a thousand coins. I think I found like maybe three hundred coins before. I don't know. Weird. And another good thing as well about catching all these horses is. You have to then sell them, but well, you don't have to, but you can then sell them. And then you get some money. And money means what? And then that brings me on to the next point of how to obtain rare horses on this game. And uh, yeah, the next one I think is pretty obvious, and that's breeding. Well, actually, the next one should be in the market. Sometimes it's just random stuff for sale in the market. So like if I check the notification bell out here, all the notifications here. Apparently there's rare horses for sale on Jungle and Luna. So if we skip straight to the boat. We will go to Luna. Ooh, I normally don't pick Luna. Well, let's go to Luna Island. Okay. Is anyone else super tired at the moment? Like, I'm so tired. You can hear it in my voice. I think something's wrong with me. So, another way of obtaining rare horses is by going to the market and seeing what they have. So, if I didn't already have a load of stuff, I'd be buying, well no I wouldn't, I'd be buying this. But sometimes you have to, ooh, Robux. Robux? Yeah, you have to spend real money on the really rare stuff, but you never know. And like the Altica there, and actually the Overo over the back here, this one. 3,000 pound for that? That's a lot of money, that is crazy. Yeah, they, they've got a lot of money for that. They want a lot of money for that. But yeah, that's the other way of getting rare horses is by just going to the markets. And you'll get a notification up here if you just have a little look. So as, a, as it says there, we've got a rare horses for sale on Jungle and Luna. So just check them out and see what you get. Maybe you can afford it. Maybe you can't. But sometimes you can get lucky. I think I bought I bought something really rare. I think it was a Percheron once for like 500 coins and I couldn't believe it. I'm pretty sure it was something like that where I was just like, what? Yeah, sometimes guys, you get really lucky. Really, really lucky. I've been gifted quite a few unique horses, but I'm very f lucky and you guys have been very generous and I suppose it's cheating in a way, so I do apologize. But uh, yeah. Bad YouTuber. Bad. It's gifted by so many nice people. Thank you for creating such a lovely community on here. We will be gaming live at some point whenever I sort my life out. And we're going to be doing trading. That's why I haven't sold a few of mine. Because I want to give them to you guys. So let's just head over the brow of this hill. Ooh, okay. Well, there's just an Appaloosa. Well, that's alright. There might be some There could be something rare, maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, let me grab that. Nice. Just a just a bog standard chestnut Appaloosa. Well, I'm not going to do the whole of this island today because I can't be bothered. And I know that's terrible of me, but it's just like, ah, it's all right. So, okay. So once you've actually established that there are rare horses in your market or whatever, then buy whatever you like. You know, if you haven't got something or you've not seen it before, go and grab it. Now, we're going to go on to the third way of obtaining really rare horses. This is exciting. This is my favourite part of the game. I'm going to go over here because I'm not going to do the rest of the island. I bet you there's some rare stuff up here. So, number one, searching the islands and actually finding and catching rare wild horses. And I, I think that's probably the best way of getting rare horses, in my opinion. Then the second way is the market. 
and then seeing what else like spawns as well things just spawn out it's, it is luck of the draw a lot a lot of the time so yeah you never know what you're gonna get and the markets will update regularly as well i need to sell not buy that's what i need to do let's just go newest how many have i got to sell here wow a fair old few but they won't bring in much money annoyingly i don't even know what color that mustang is i'm just gonna quickly check oh my goodness when did i get those ones I just want to see what colour this Mustang is, because I feel like I've not seen this before. Oh, it's brown. Oh, well, that's that. I have a brown Mustang. That's so rare. <laughs> hey, rare, it's rare when you get your first one, right? So, Okay, so we're going to pop over to Mainland, and this is where you can go do your breeding. Now, breeding different combinations. Again, you'll be needed to, to find certain coats. To be able to breed like unique breeding outcomes and stuff like that and there's certain combinations that you use to breed together to make unique breeding outcomes so yeah but like for example if i show you guys i don't know like cross coating's a really good idea as well that's kind of fun uh let's show you guys a good example oh my goodness i'm so rubbish at this uh so a growl with a there is something, what do you normally put with that to make? Yes, that. So things like a Gruller plus a Blue Roan, which the Gruller and the Blue Roan aren't too hard to find. They would be something you'd find quite quickly, I suppose, in the wild. So yeah, this is another way of obtaining a different coat, hopefully. But again, it's luck. See, this is a Blue Roan Quarter Horse. That's gorgeous, but there was the option of actually having extra coats new coats and stuff like that but we didn't get it today and you guys just have to keep going you can't give up so there's my i think there's three is that three points i think that's three points of how to get rare coats on the game so searching all the islands is obviously the best thing like that is yeah how to get rare coats okay we're gonna go back to desert island now i think actually forest island i'm just gonna go to forest island first because forest island i found like some really rare, random stuff lately. And I don't know why I keep getting lucky on it. And actually, it's a good place to go and buy resources. It's another thing that you probably don't want to do. I mean, it doesn't matter to me because I'm not too worried. But uh, if you are struggling for money or whatever, probably best to buy cheaper lassoes. Lassoes are a pain, like a real pain in the bum. But they are like a tool that you need. Right, can I make... So I bought loads of silver then. So I bought 20. Oh my goodness. How many? I don't know how many I can make. Can I make 12? I actually have no idea if I can make 12 or not. Let's just equip. Okay, so we have a little wreck around this island. And you can see here as well, there is one coat pattern that's quite rare. And that's this paint horse here. This is the buckskin Sabino and stuff like that. Pretty cool. There is actually a whole fandom wiki, Wikipedia on this game. So if you guys ever get stuck with stuff, just read read on there. I use it for when I'm looking for different combos of coats to breed cool things. Uh, so yeah, it is very useful. Yeah, coming on here is great. Now after just doing a recce of this island, guys, I'm going to head over to Desert Island. And just see if anything cool has, has spawned up. And uh, just see what happens. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've like covered stuff. I don't know if there's a way of like winning and also a way of obviously getting rare horses is like trading trading is obviously a massive thing i don't do trading on here yet uh we will be doing a video live trading and stuff like that uh but yeah no it's not something something that i've done much i've been gifted some really lovely horses by people and that's because i've got lucky because i'm a youtuber so it's a it's a bit naughty really but hey ho we are here but i do thank everyone for their kindness as I say, I think that's most of those caught on there. So we'll just... There's a couple more sometimes around the back here. So we'll go have a little look. Jungle Island as well. Jungle Island, not Forest Island. Jungle Island is the best island for getting lots of horses. You know, if you need to make a load of money uh, and you need to sell a load of horses, catch them, sell them, so then you can go off and do other things like breeding cool coats, then Jungle is the best. You get at least, I think, 10, 12 horses there. I think even 15 maybe at a time which is mental i 
What's this? See, that looks like it could be something rare. It probably won't be. Like, today will probably be the day that I never find anything rare because I did a whole video on how to obtain rare horses. Or how to get rare horses on Wild Horse Islands. Yeah. <laughs> what a throw up. Yep, we're just going to go back then. I think we've left it enough time now. Let's head back to Desert Island and go and see. But yeah. Do you guys have any other ways of getting rare horses? If you do and I've missed a trick, please let me know in the comments section below. Okay, let's go have a little recce around the island. I hope my theory works. <laughs> if it not, if it doesn't work, I'm going to have to bow my head in shame. I'll just cry probably like a big baby. Okay, well, firstly, guys, doesn't look like anything's spawned at all. <laughs> Oh, what is it? It looks like something cool. It's just a paint. It's a cool paint, to be fair. But you don't see them very often. You never know. We might find something rare. We might have had to have left it a bit longer, maybe. I don't know. I might have to, after this, just quickly pop to... If this is unsuccessful, I'm going to pop to Jungle Island just to prove to you guys that there hopefully will be something rare on there. Oh, dear. It better go well today. See, it's another little... Appaloosa, fine, okay, another Appaloosa. How have I used like 12 last? I've used like all those lassoes up already. How have I even done that? That is mental. I don't know whether I should bother catching everything because I kind of only caught the stuff originally to show you guys about the spawning technique. But I don't think my spawning technique's worked now. I think it does work. And the longer you spend on the game, I swear the more rare stuff. So if I spent like three hours on this game, even if I let it just roll on and I went and made a sandwich or something, I think something rare could possibly spawn. Cool. Right, so it looks like I have like one lasso left. So I'm not going to catch anything unless it's super rare. Oh, she says, and there's like a really cool fjord up there. Fjords bring in quite a bit of money, I must admit, guys, like, they are. I'm just going to use my prismatic. I'm just not going to be fussy about it. It's fine. Fjords do bring in some some money, so that's good. So I'm just catching everything. I was hoping something cool would spawn. Let's go. We could go and check over the canyon there, because as I say, I've definitely found something really rare before in the canyon. How many more gold lassoes can I make? Can I make, like, two? Yes, I can. Excellent. Another fjord down there. Go get him. Might as well. Let's do it. Let's have a look. Looky cookie. Let's have a looky cookie. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. I'm just going to have a look here. But guys, if you look over on the left... Something really rare. I don't think it's really rare. Don't fall off the edge of the cliff for that. I don't think it's like really rare, but I think it's rare. Has just spawned up down there. But let's just keep having a look around here a second and see what happens. Anything rare? Right, nothing's even... Oh, I just ran into a cactus instead. Or a cacti, whatever you want to call it. What's this over here? Is this a quarter horse? Is this another quarter horse? Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, right. I've got to show you guys this horse. Let's do it. Let's go round the brow of this hill. There was definitely something rare. Hey, is this a thoroughbred? See, it better be a thoroughbred. I think things are starting to spawn, guys. This is going to be good. And hopefully my theory is working. Yes, we have a black thoroughbred here. Yes, this is good. Black with like a white... Is it like a silver mane and tail? Yeah, short grey. Nice. So there you go. That's a rare-ish horse, guys, for you. And let's just carry on because I'm definitely sure that there was something like cool that just spawned around here. But definitely the spawn trick. See, it does work. I, I thought for a minute then that it wasn't going to work and I was going to eat my words. <laughs> but it worked. Yay. Oh, dear. Okay, I don't know if there's anything rare up there. No, I think that's just a quarter horse. 
let's go get it and look in the sales right there you've got some really cool rare stuff that you could go and buy like a Clydesdale and a cool colored paint and yeah we've got okay so it's an Andalusian I think it's not the rarest thing in the world but it's rarer than what was there before okay guys so it did kind of work and just keep doing that and give it more time so I think like bullet number five is like time and waiting out the game you know what I mean? So, number one, catching horses. Number two, marketplace. Number three, ah, uh, breeding. Number four, trading or gifts. And then number five, waiting out the game and seeing what cool horses you get. So, yeah, they're my top tips on how to get rare horses. If I'm missing something, maybe probably something really obvious because it's me, let me know in the comment section below. Please do. And if you could all do me a massive favor and give the video a thumbs up or aka a carrot, that'd be much appreciated. Just helps us out in the algorithms. And yeah, we are getting closer to 50,000 subscribers, which is insane. We've just gone over 46 and that is amazing. So I just want to say massive thank you to everyone. You're all so awesome. Thank you for creating such a lovely community. I'm just going to sell a couple of these horses we found to Larry, even those more rare ones because we don't actually need them because i have quite a few here as you know yeah for the sake of the breeding we did that excellent yay thanks guys so much for watching have a awesome rest of your day minecraft coming and sims 4 all horse themed stuff so this is this is going to be great what should i say awesome okay guys bye